Hey, yo, what is going on, bro? Once again, bros, women, bronies, and peg sisters, and otakus, and kikamotis. This is the one, the only, of course, Mr. Nintendo Sony Free 2011, aka Manny Wolf Arena. Of course, you guys are wrestling intros and not to towards this channel. Double check out Freedom. Oh, before I begin, not freedom.com, because I did that last year. Oh my gosh, big shout out to Glitch X City, of course, better known as Courtney. And um, I think his name was Geothermal something. I think G Fox Brit, um, actually, no. Geonic Legion, I think Geon Legion, whatever his name is. I think his name was um, Mr. Legion. So shout out to Mr. Legion and Glitch City for the music in the background you're currently hearing right now. Hopefully you can hear it nice and loud. Beautiful. It's um two different remixes. Um one is the Battle President Lusamine theme from Sun and Moon. Is this this is Sun Moon, Sun and Moon related? And the other one's the Title Defense um Title Defense Champion um remix theme as well. So shout out to both of them. I'll be leaving both of their links to their to the videos I'm um the music I'm playing in the background the description box down below annotations outside if you want to hear it yourself beautiful beautiful sexy ass some um, musical orchestrated arrangements right here definitely all the credit goes to them I don't own any of this shit I'm just using it as an example because I mean the original themes were good too but god fucking damn they are just so badass anyways um just, just listen to that it's like straight up heavenly I'm getting a nerd boner over this shit <laughs> and not to mention she was like the second hottest bitch next to um, professor wiki or thick wick as the internet calls her as her ass is fine as fuck <laughs> i'm an ass man you know <laughs> you be a mexican puerto rican no i'm gonna love ass <laughs> and brazilian i mean i'm trying to make this i know it's supposed to be kid friendly but <laughs> you know i got a dirty fucking mouth anyways <laughs> i actually got these the other day at sun and moon um Pokemon TCG, these are literally like the last two I could fucking find. The only two other ones I had were Steam Siege and, um, ah, uh, what was it? Um, Breakthrough. And I think Breakpoint. And they had like a Gyarados, a Gyarados tin, and then they had like two different other tins. I think it was, um, I think Groudon or Kyogre was one of those two. But, um, I wanted to get these because this is probably the last two I'm going to be opening for a while. I still got one left. I'm going to be uploading in March. I think that's the Moltres bin because I did the Zapdos one last week. So, uh, yeah. Let's uh, get this shit started. Whoa. I had no idea where this nice old school Pac-Man came from. Game Kingpin. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah. Let's open this shit up. Fortunately, you know, Decidueye is my least favorite out of the three. I love Primarina and uh, Incineroar a little bit more. Oh, and speaking of which, I know I normally don't do this most of the time, but uh, this is my whole team for Sun. Moon, I got way more. I only got like 40 or 50 different Pokemon in Sun. I got like two, maybe 500 different Pokemon in Moon because... Obviously, I like Lunala more than Zogalio, so I play Moon a lot longer than I did Sun. This is all the Pokemons that I caught so far. And, um, Pokemon Moon actually got a shiny Gumshoes and a shiny Grample when I was, um, training all my Pokemon up to level 70 so that I could keep, um, fighting in the title defenses. That's all of them right there. These are all the ones I'm, and there goes my Zogalio. Adriel Dreamer. I named it after, like, an Undertale reference. I know this has nothing to do with TCG, but it still is Pokemon related. <laughs> and these are the ones on my team right now. I really love the shout out of Lola and Raichu. That's why I the same with um, Clefable, even red and blue. I remember I had one that's level 100. That's why I love the shit out of this thing. Blue lightsaber. Freeze Ball. I just um, hatched him yesterday. It was an Eevee that I evolved into Glaceon. And these are my two shinies that I got legitly. I had to soft reset three weeks for this thing and two weeks for this fucker. Never doing it again. Okami Kamat Kamatari. Okami, if any people don't know that, um... Kitsune game for the PS2. I named it after him, and I named it after Naruto, like um, a Naruto she put in character that Tamari had, that weasel with the scythe. That's why I named him um, Kamatari. And I still gotta like evolve this. This fucker took forever to get. I named him Tiny Tiger from the Crash Bandicoot series. And uh, let's see, these ones I might train one of these days. The Greninja that was in that demo, and the other two. I named him the Time Lord because you know Entropy, Web Warrior. <laughs> And then these ones I'm probably just going to give away in Wonder Trade right here. I don't have a capture card, so that's why this quality is probably real shit. I mean, if I had a thousand dollars or more, somebody was willing to donate a thousand bucks, I'll totally do it. And these are like the next ones I'm going to be trading all up to level 70 right here. Scrappy dude, the growl up, growl down, growl live. I love the shout out. It's Tekken 7 Panda. <laughs> Mother Brain. I don't know why I named it that. Uh, there's an Electabuzz I caught randomly, and of course, this was my favorite in Gen 2. I love the crap out of this thing, Lantern. That was my baby back in the day. And then, uh, Lycanroth, Wolfangfist, I named him after, um, Yantra thing from DBT. 
All right, so uh, now that we're done with that, uh, put that to the side. Let's get to the TCG. Let's get to the first one in this pack. Let's fucking do it, man, because I'm hyped as fuck. I got these yesterday. I was going to do it yesterday, but uh, I had a lot of stress and bullshit at work. So I didn't feel like doing it. Ooh, Primarina. Oh, please tell me get something. I got like one out of 28 chances to get something good. I'm a little disappointed because I did see what the EXs and full arts look like, unfortunately. But uh, other than that, <laughs> yeah, that's too bad, really. All right, po Pokemon Sun and Moon Champion Title Defense. Shout out to Glitch XC for making this. Or I think it was Legion. It was one of those two. Sorry about that commercial. I can't do shit about that. I can skip it, though. All right, here we go. Shout out to them. Beautiful fucking masterminds. And uh, hopefully my um, camera's still working. Yeah, it is. Six minutes. All right. Oh, God, I love that title thing on the end. And, you know, after we fight Kukui, it's cool as fuck. I'm going to see if I can preserve this fucker. Yeah, because I love the shit out of Premium. That was my baby. I know I, a lot of people didn't like it, but I love the crap out of her. And it's a girl, too. The shiny Premium I got in um, Pokemon Moon. There goes that. Hopefully you guys can see the code card. All right. I don't know if the trick is still the same. I saw some of the secret rares. It's the same thing. It's just in gold patterns or... I was a little disappointed for the lack of creativity for this TCG because there's no EXs and full arts. There's GX and GX full art. So one, two, three. Rare and reverse. Hopefully this is the right one. Hopefully I at least get a holo. This is the last one I'm going to do for a while. So first one we got up a Shelter. Hopefully I get a Cosmog. Even if it's a basic Pokemon to get, I don't care. All right. Shelter. Makuhita. Ah, come on. Hopefully it's um, showing nice and clear for you guys. Focus. Give me focus, please. Alright, here we go. Firo. Grubbin. Crab Brawler. Switch Reverse. Oh, I guess I did it wrong. Team Skull Grunt. Poison Barb. I didn't know that made an appearance in Charger Bug. My Reverse is... Uh... Oh, shit. Reverse? No. This this was my reverse. No, it's Metal Energy. And the rare is the Sidrui. Oh, I feel the... It feels super plasticky. It's a lot smoother than the other Pokemon cards. I don't know what type of material they're making these out of, but... Sadly, that was a shit pull. But uh, hopefully this last one is really, really good. I'm hoping I at least get a holo, man. Because this costs like nine fifty, And that's at fucking Walgreens. Imagine how much Walmart and Target is. I don't have a sponsorship or nothing, so I can't get this shit cheap. And if anyone's out there sponsorship, hey, I would love to do that. I know I said it would, wouldn't sell out to YouTube, but <laughs> if it's Pokemon related, I would totally do it. And Cineroar is the next one. I like the art artwork for the pack arts. Awesome. Gotta make sure I don't cut the fucking cards. That would suck. Alright, so, uh, code card. What the hell? You see the code card here? It's like really faded out. Hopefully you guys can see it. Alright, so, uh, let's see. One, two, three, one, two, three. I don't know if it's three cards or two. I'm just going to do that to be on a safe side. Here we go. So we got Morali, um, Skarmory, my favorite, one of my favorite Pokemon ever of all time. Ah, come on. I wish this thing would not fucking blur out so many times. Come on. Focus. Ah, I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. It is not focusing. It's so weird that it's not focusing. Come on. Focus, you piece of shit. There we go. Skarmory. Poliwag. Sandy Gast. Eevee. How? Oh, this thing got really miscut. Dartrix and Pokeball. Damn, look at the top compared to the bottom. Look at that shit. Okay, um... Ooh, okay, hold on, hold on. I got something good, but I'll, I'll show it to you in a minute. It's one of my second favorites in Johto region. Cutie Fly is the reverse. I wish it would have been Rabombi. I actually loved Rabombi because I used it twice in both of my Sun and Moon games. Um, fighting Energy, and the rare is... Ooh, Crobat Hollow. No, I will take that shit to the bank. Where's my... um? Uh, I can't find him anywhere. It's so weird. Oh, one of my sleeves. Right here. Putting that in the sleeve. Looks sick as fuck, dude. Not bad. I mean, it's still like um, hollow, but you know, I don't know. I know a lot of hollows aren't that great, but Crobat was one of my favorite Pokemon 
back when I was still a 90s, early 2000s kid back in the day. So it does, you know, um, give me a sense of nostalgia. I'll take that, man. Not bad. At least I got a hollow one of them. Thank God. It might not have been an EX full art. Or excuse me, GX, GX full art. Because it's not EX anymore. They don't exist. Or a secret rare. But you know, I'll take it. I heard there's A specs that are coming back for this set too. And this is just the base set. So I wouldn't be surprised they made it really, really hard as fuck to get. Um, really, really super ultra rare cards. Like an EX or EX full art. Full art AKA GX, GX full art in this version. Because um, Sun and Moon... Apparently, they decided to get get rid of them. GX, EX, EX and EX Flash. That is such a fucking taunt twister. And um, same with breaks. I really like the break cards a lot. So I'm a little disappointed that break cards didn't make a triumphant return. Get that little meaning? Triumphant from Gen 4. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah. It's moves are Triple Poison and Surprise Strike. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to have to read it myself because I can barely see it with my eyes say to shit. So let's see. Um... Hold on, I gotta get some light. So it says, Bath, oh, beneath the legs becomes wings. Its legs, actually, no, yeah, both of its legs become its wings, and as a result, it can't move well onto the ground. As all it can do is crawl around. That's a really funny, entertaining thing. So shout out to the people that made this Crobat. Fucking nice. I didn't even get Zubat or Gobat, but it's all good under the hood. Wish I would have got at least a Cosmog, but you know what? Beggars can't be choosers. And that's it. Links in the box down below. Annotation outside. If any people are um, interested in listening to both of those music remixes from Glitch Rock City and Mr. Legion himself, and I'm done here. Beautiful, sexy ass music. If you're really big in video game music like I am, like if you're a fanboy, like a motherfucker on that type of content, you will love the shit out of their remixes. And uh, that's it. Peace out once again, bros, women, bronies, and Pegasus, or Otakazi Kikimoto. So I will see you when I see you guys. A good day, have a good night, wherever you are at around the world. Don't drink smoke weed at the same time. Don't take them reckless. Keep it calm. Keep it cool. Keep it chill. Keep it collective out there. And until then, that's on, guys. Peace out, ladies, and goodbye. Stay tuned. More videos coming soon. Brand new videos on the channel almost every single day. Stay in the grind. Stay easy. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Be easy. Be you. Do it yourself. Peace out. I'm like Starcraft. I'm gone again. A lot of your stay tuned. More future content on the channel. Do more updates. Stay safe. Stay tuned. More future commentary, vlogs, and comment. Content of the channel such as Nintendo, Sony, Microsoft, PC Gaming News, and of course, my anime, otaku related, and video game music on that side room. And then behind me is where I do my main um, Pokemon and My Little Pony fan animation reaction reviews over hype reaction review segments. Along, of course, with my Marvel DC regular action movie movies, and of course, video game trailers and anime otaku related trailers, teaser trails behind me. It's for my reaction review segments. And of course, as always, my, um, <clears throat> my video responses and rants. Peace out, deuces, goodbye, I'm getting the fuck out. You know, at least Colbat, Crobat came through. I, I did use one Crobat for Moon. I didn't use it for Sun, but for Moon, I think I... I don't know if it was level 80, 90, or 100. Because it took me like three, four weeks to get that shiny type and all that you guys saw. And two weeks to get that um, soft reset for the other thing. I'm currently right now soft resetting for um, Aerodactyl. So, uh, yeah. It's been like two and a half days since I've been doing it. Porygon decided to just get on its own because I'm not going to be able to trade it anyone. Because if I would have gotten a shiny, shiny Porygon, I'm not going to be able to evolve into the Porygon 2 or Porygon Z shiny. Because I don't have another new 3DS XL. So, yeah. My knee's going to get a little bit tight around here. So, I'm probably going to be a couple months, maybe a year or two. I'm not saying I'm going to quit the Pokemon community. But um, I'm probably, unfortunately, going to have to take at least a year or two break off of buying TCG. Because... It does drain a little bit too much out of my money, and I gotta pay bills and taxes. So I'm gonna be what, 30, 31 by the time I start opening TCG again. So I'm gonna take a little bit of a break. I'm sorry for anyone that just likes my TCG set. I also do other things, like I said at the end of this video. So you made it this far to the video. Thank you very much. Peace, love, and bake peace and bacon grease. <laughs> I don't even know if that's a 90s thing anymore. I don't know. Later, I'm out. I'm out. Goodbye.